What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to transplant your pepper plants into cups. These cups will be their new home until we plant them in the garden in a couple months. It's really easy to do and I'll show you how to do it next. Alright guys, the things that you're going to need to transplant your pepper plants into cups are your pepper plants and cups. You're also going to need a permanent marker and off to the side here I have some pre-moistened potting mix. I'll be using miracle Grow here because that's just what I have, but you could use any brand that you want, but make sure that it's potting mix. And I did pre-moisten this and it's not sopping wet. It's just damp enough to when you squeeze it together, it'll hold its shape. Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and poke holes into my plastic cups. I did not show this part in my tomato video, and some of you wanted to see how I did it. So don't mind my dirty stove here, but I turned on my burner. I'm going to heat up this metal barbecue skewer, and I use this specifically for burning holes in these cups. You probably don't want to use this for food afterwards. Alright guys, when I think that this is hot enough, I'm going to go ahead and poke four holes here at the bottom. And you can see how easy it goes through when it's hot. I'm going to heat it up again for a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and put four holes here along the very bottom ridge. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my cups and I'll show you what to do next. So now I'm just going to move these off to the side for just a moment. I'm going to focus on these six pepper plants right here first. And if you can see, they have two sets of true leaves. Some of them are even working on their third set. These first leaves that come up, those are called seed leaves. You don't count those as true leaves. So this is the perfect time to get them into cups. I just watered these yesterday, so it's probably going to be a huge mess on my part. Ideally, you'd want these to dry out before transferring over into your cups. That way the root ball holds together better. I'm running out of room over there by my patio door, so I think I'm just going to put these into cups today instead of waiting till the end of the week. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is grab a cup. I did poke some holes in those, and you want to fill it full of potting mix. And I just like to give it a good tap on the table to settle the potting mix, and then go ahead and add a little bit more. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take my marker and I'm going to make a well. Now we're not going to bury these plants as deep as we did with our tomatoes because they don't shoot out very many roots along the stem like tomatoes do. But I'm going to go ahead and bury it until I get up to the seed leaf. So I'm going to make my hole a little bigger here. Now you just want to take your two fingers and cradle your plant and squeeze the bottom. This is actually holding together way better than I thought. And now I'm going to stick it down in the hole and gently push it down. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and top it off with some potting mix. Just like that. Now the last thing you're going to want to do is label your cup. This just happens to be number 14. Now you just want to set that off to the side. Now normally I would go ahead and stick these 
in a pan with water and give them a good soak. But since I watered these yesterday, I'm going to wait a couple days. So I'll just show you how to do that one more time. You want to take yourself a cup, fill it full of potting mix. For peppers, I like to fill it to the top and pat it down. Now you just want to take your marker, make a well, carefully cradle your plant with your two fingers, and squeeze the bottom of the seed cell. Now I'm just going to stick it in the hole and gently push it down. You want to make sure that there's no air bubbles down by the roots where we dug our well. Now I'm just going to top this off with potting mix up to the seed leaf. Just like that, and number my cup. Now I'm going to continue to do this until the rest of my peppers are done. Now if you can see in this cell right here, there's these two little babies here. This one I'm probably going to have to pull out, but this one I'll just leave and let it grow. These have been in here for about eight weeks. And peppers are crazy. Their germination time can vary from a couple weeks to a couple months. I actually have four varieties of peppers that have been going for about a month now. Probably six weeks. And they still haven't sprouted. But I'm not going to give up hope. Alright guys, so I decided to bring you back and show you one more thing. When I planted these peppers, just like my tomatoes, I put two seeds per cell. My goal was to get six pepper plants of each variety. So in some of them, like this one, nothing came up. But right here, two came up in the same cell. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to cradle both plants, though. I'm going to squeeze the cell so it pops out. Oh, crap. Anyway, then I'm going to carefully pull these two plants apart, making sure not to do any serious damage to the roots, and then plant them the same way. Just like that. Just like that. Alright guys, so there you have it. I got most of my peppers into cups before I ran out of potting mix. So I'll have to do these ones at the end of the week. Now just like the tomatoes before, if they start to look a little puny today, that's just because they were manhandled. But I find that peppers especially are a little bit more tolerant to being handled than tomatoes. But just wait a day or two and they'll perk right back up. So now I'm going to take you over to my tomato plants and show you an update on those. Alright guys, so here's what it looks like over at my patio door. As you can see, I'm totally running out of room. Now it is a beautiful day outside. It's supposed to be about 70 today, but it's windy as heck. So I don't want to put my little plants out there. So in this seed cell right here, I have about four varieties of peppers right here that are still trying to come up. The rest are cucumbers and then one is eggplant. Over here are the rest of my peppers that I'm going to need to wait to put into cups till I get more potting mix. These two are my tomato plants that I'm going to put in my garden and these are all the extra that I'm going to give to my buddy. Now like I said it's very economical to do this yourself. 
If one plant at the store costs about three to four dollars, just imagine how much all these would have cost. For me here, it was pennies a cup. Now I'll take you in closer to show you my tomatoes here in this one. All right guys, so I have about 10 varieties of tomatoes here in this container and also some tomatillas. Now it's been about two, two and a half weeks since I planted these into these cups. And as you can tell, some of these have doubled in size. At this point, when I water, I do water with some fertilizer. I like to just use half strength for now, and it's really helping. Like I said, I'd love to have these outside on this beautiful sunny day, but it's just way too windy. Now these tomatoes will be double the size when I'm ready to plant them in the garden. Weather permitting, I hope to get these in mid-April. If not, I like to wait till May. One year, it was 70 degrees in the beginning of April, so I put out all my tomatoes and peppers, and by April 15th, we had snow, so I lost all my plants. Lesson learned. Well, I hope you give this video a try. If you like my videos and want to see more of my videos, go down below and hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. If you have a question about this video or any of my other videos, or would just like to leave a suggestion for a future upcoming video, leave me a comment. Feel free to share this video across your social networks. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.